Here we go with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and this time we have a big old honking Guto. This is the Masakage Kiri Guto 270mm knife. So this knife line has a core steel of VG10 full stainless steel at a heat treat around 6162 Rockwell. And this uh, maker does a nice job with their VG10 as far as their heat treat uh, version or rendition of it. The construction is multi-layered uh, soft stainless cladding, and you can see it's etched, and it's got a Damascus or layered finish on either side of that hardcore steel, so it's a full stainless blade. It's a very nice looking blade. Um, the weights and dimensions will vary just a little bit from knife to knife, but uh, this particular one is 197 grams, or 6.9 ounces, so that's under 7 ounces for a big old 270, so this blade is light and nimble for its size. Edge length is 275, so it's 10.8 inches. So this is a big knife. Uh, overall length, about six, about 17 inches. And then the uh, blade height is 56.6, so you can see it's got some height to it. The spine thickness I measured in three places since it's so long, but it uh, comes out of the handle and then above the chin, the back of the blade, it's about 2.75, so it's not a real thick knife. Uh, 2.0 millimeters, about halfway down, then about a couple inches from the end, it's about 1.6. And the taper is pretty thin at the very edge, or at the very tip. Uh, the handle is their oval uh, magnolia wood uh, with a red pack of wood ferrule. Um, it's got some extra length for this size of knife, and then they've got a tight install on the tang there. Circumference, about 75-ish millimeters, 3 inches, where the ferrule and the wood meet. Generous... Uh, Kind of a back swept heel, as is this style, and then you've got a gentle curve into the neck, so loads of room for your finger for a pinch grip. Balance point, as you expect on this, it's going to be a little bit far forward. So there's my pinch back here, which means you've got some weight forward mass to it to help you with your cutting, which is what these blades are kind of all about. So uh, this is a big blade, but despite that kind of weight forward balance, you know, you've got a, a pretty nimble blade. This might be one if you want to bring that balance point back. These handles are very light, so you could easily put a custom handle on this with a little bit more dense wood and bring that balance point back a little bit or denser materials. These, like I said, these handles are very, very light. This one could benefit maybe from a slightly heavier handle to kind of balance the package a little differently, but that would be completely up to the owner after they use this knife for a while. But I could see that happening in some cases. Um, so let's see, this is a big blade. Let's take a look at it. These are very attractive in person. Nice finish on them. Uh, you've got the kind of etched finish. You can see the Damascus layers, especially showing up as they hit the grind towards the edge. There's your core steel peeking out, and then your actual edge bevel. These are sharp as most Masakages are, 6, 7 out of 10 on my scale, so quite sharp out of the box. Hand chiseled kanji. Nice effect. You can run your finger over it and feel those raised edges. Nice fit and finish on the spine, on the choil. Uh, just very comfortable, typically high level of fit and finish on these. Here's the left side of the blade. Or I should say the right side of the blade. And they've got a kind of a gentle transition from the blade flat into the edge. So it's not a hard uh, kind of a grind line like you'd see on a Masakage Yuki. So these flow very predictably and very well through product. They're good, high performance line of knives. Every one of the Masakage Kiri knives I've used out of this line have been very good performing knives. So they're, they, you know, aren't super non-stick. Uh, you'll get reasonable product separation, but you've got a gradual transition into that grind, which makes the cutting predictable, and they go through a lot of types of stuff very, very well. So let's get a look at it on our cutting board. Big old knife, as you can see, but one of the advantages of the long knife, there's lots of areas you can use on the blade. And on this one, they've got a nice flat heel area back here. Slight relief on that profile, the very heat uh, tip of the heel, the chin. So it kind of flows. You can go back a little bit more, but it doesn't kind of bang into a hard stop, which is nice if you're doing a little bit of, you know, this kind of work, push-pull cuts or rocking. So you definitely got some flat for chopping back here. You've got a middle section that's pretty low and then a gentle curve up front so I can get pretty high with this so this thing will rock over really tall stuff you can get double onions under these there's a lot of reasons to use a longer knife and one of them is the you don't have to pull the handle up so high and pump it quite as much to do a rock you know imagine you rocking over short carrots or 
scallions or something, I don't have to bring up that handle hardly at all in relation of what I have to do with a Santoku or something like that. So you can do rocking very, very efficiently with these. If the blade gets dull in one area, you can use another area. There's just lots of reasons to have a longer blade if you've got the room for it and you're, you know, comfortable with the handling aspects of it. So this is just a neat line of knives. This is another blade um, that's a high quality uh, rendition in this line. It's got um, it's fairly stiff for considering how thin it is. It's got a little bit of bend towards the tip, but not that much. So it's stiffer than you might think. But just a really nice. Nice line of knives. If you're looking for a large prep knife or a larger knife for your purposes, this is a, another cool one in their line. This is the Masakage Kiri VG10 Guto 210 millimeter knife.